there is literally no bottom feeder, no terrible person that will not be considered for some of these cheesy competition shows. Rudy Giuliani apparently is part of the upcoming season's masked singer. So let me just let me preface this story by saying someone, a producer, someone involved in the show leaked this. And they leaked it intentionally to basically serve as promotional material for the upcoming season of The Masked Singer. Okay, that's what's happening here. But the fact that the producers who work on The Masked Singer thought it would be a great idea to get Rudy Giuliani involved tells you everything you need to know about the circus that is the United States, where bad behavior gets rewarded over and over and over again. So let me give you the details. Rudy Giuliani was unmasked as an exciting costumed contestant in last week's taping of the first season, the first season seven episode of Fox's popular primetime series, The Masked Singer. Deadline here is that as soon as they saw Giuliani, judges Ken Jong and Robin Thicke quickly left the stage in protest. So don't be too upset. There was there was protest. There were critics. Not buying it, Giuliani should have been there in the first place. The other two judges, Jenny McCarthy and Nicole Scherzinger, remained and oh, they bantered everybody. They bantered with Giuliani, who was recently subpoenaed by the House Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 attack on the US Capitol. And let me also note that we recently learned that Trump was trying to take control of the voting machines in battleground states and had his minion Giuliani to go out there and do his dirty work for him, you know, to attempt to do that. Giuliani followed through. He tried to make that happen. Luckily, he failed ultimately. But to put Giuliani on any kind of like cutesy TV show, Blows my mind. It really does. Yeah, these are like the last days of Rome. You know, they used to have the circus to entertain the masses, and this is what this is. Rudy Giuliani, first of all, was the mayor of New York, ran for president, and now he's in a furry costume, singing on national television, and don't insult the furries. Okay, and the furries are good people. Okay, some of my mad respect for the furries. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. God bless the furries. Okay, but um, <laughs> I was going to kid around and say some of my best friends are furries, but they're not. <laughs> okay, uh, but anyway, this clown gets up in a circus outfit and goes and 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 sings in front of everybody. He tried to steal the election. They were going to steal the voting machines and say that Trump won when he didn't win. Uh, they had fake electors sign fake documents. He should be in prison. And Oh, it's okay, everybody. We're gonna resuscitate him and do positive PR for him. Oh, isn't it amazing? It turns out he was the singer. It turns out he was the bunny rabbit or whatever the hell thing he's wearing, right? They won't reveal it because they want you to watch. Please do not watch. Do not watch the mass singer. Don't fall for this PR stunt. It's trash if they're bringing out. Oh, that's the guy who was gonna do the coup against democracy and make sure none of you were free again. Yay, let's let's do publicity for him. So I don't know if I can say that yeah, I you, said it. All right, well, okay. look, what I will say though is there's really, we always talk about how the incentives are in the wrong place, right? Politicians have the wrong incentives, the media has the wrong incentives. So the producers are thinking this will be a hit. This is gonna be controversial, people will be talking about it. Yes. This is, this is all meant to promote what they're doing, promote the show. Which, by the way, the show apparently I hadn't I hadn't really heard of it, but apparently oh, yeah? it's a very popular show. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't no. watch garbage TV. I watch no, no. I don't watch like I, other than sports. I don't watch a, a, any uh, t- live TV anymore, like or broadcast television. I mean, it's trash. It's total trash. So, like, if you want to do the mass Singer and it turns out it's you know a normal celebrities, who cares? God bless, who cares, right? And look, they had they brought Sarah Palin in and people were outraged by that. That's your standard controversy. I don't care about that either, right? That's But this guy literally tried to end democracy. That's not cute, that's like putting Goebbels 
in, a, in an outfit and then go, oh, it's okay, I know, I know, he did some propaganda for the Nazis. But hey, here you go, was that amazing rendition of, uh, you know, I believe I can fly? No, I don't care, I don't care about his rendition, okay? It's disgusting and you're trash. Yep. And by the way, I mean, in, in a more, I guess, sophisticated way, you have the CNNs and the MSNBCs hiring some of the most nefarious figures in the federal government as contributors, as collaborators. Yeah, as, as uh, I mean, you see it all over the place. It's not just these competition shows, it happens in corporate media all the time. Yeah, I mean, look, so Zucker hired half of Trump's team. Uh, they all left like a second before Trump left office uh, in protests so we can get hired by CNN. And CNN was like, well played, you are an, a terrible person who helps support a wannabe dictator for years and years. But at the end, you caught more, you know, you all of a sudden you, you became moral. So now you're a CNN contributor, right? And then when Zucker leaves, everybody cries and cries. Oh, Jeff Zucker, he gave me my millions. Oh, did you say that out loud? Oh no, you didn't, but that's what you're really crying about. Exactly. He picked me instead of the other news actor. I love him. Okay, yeah, whatever. By the way, CNN, I didn't get to comment on that story real quick. Um, what difference does it make? They're gonna replace him with someone just like Jeff Zucker, who's gonna tell all, hire the anchors who will do pro corporate news and pretend that it's objective. It'll make no difference whatsoever. 100%, absolutely. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.